all your friends know on social, please.
Unless it, like, I can't breathe. Yeah, Brian's sponsored by, what, yeah, what beer is that? Is it Stella? A bar clock that. Okay. Good evening and welcome once again to Late for Dinner, Art Sanctuary's live streaming showcase from right here in Germantown at the stage of Art Sanctuary. And thank you all for showing up and sitting in front of your uh, screen this evening. This uh, particular evening, we have a couple of fine performers for you this time around. And uh, uh, we want you to get so, you know, relaxed and, and uh, get your snacks. Don't get dinner yet because that's coming up later, okay? This is late for dinner. But for right now, we have got a fabulous group of folks that uh, you may be familiar with in a different form of some sort or other. But right now, they are together in this combo, and that combo is... The Copiers.
thanks for the copiers.
very much, Internet and the world, and Art Sanctuary, and Jeff. I mean, sorry, Crate and Barrel.
take it down a notch. Is that just the smoke? Yep. That's my little brother. Okay. That's my little beat though. You need more? Fog them. Fog them.
Thank you, thank you. One more. We've got one more song left. Thanks again to Art Sanctuary and everybody here helping out, and to Bon Air playing tonight.
Thank you very much. Stay tuned for Bonaire and more Crate and Barrel. Thank you. Thank you very much, copiers. Um, I believe somebody's on a spin cycle there. Oh, there we go. All right, good, good. All right. Well, multiple copies there with copiers. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. That was uh, inspiring. Uh, anyway, get yourselves uh, prepared here. We're going to have a nice uh, promotional, uh, inspirational video about Art Sanctuary. And, of course, as always, we have a little quiz going along with that. I did want to uh, uh, thank uh, a Mr. J.A. Grimes of Shively, Kentucky, for correctly answering the uh, question last week, which was, Remy Sisk's um, T-shirt had a particular neck to it, and uh, the correct answer was a V-neck, V-neck. So thank you, Mr. Grimes, for correctly answering that. Um, somewhere between last week and this week, I seem to have uh, misplaced or, I don't know, maybe spent my portrait of Jackson Pollock. So instead, Mr. Grimes, we'll be sending you two uh, of these. It's a portrait of an, an H.A. Milton. So Mr. Milton, two of Mr. Milton's will be going to you, Mr. Grimes, and uh, we'll have uh, a couple of Milton's, I suppose, for uh, next week. So pay attention to the video. There will be a quiz afterwards, and uh, then we will come back and we will have Bon Air for you. I'm Lisa Fry and I am a co-founder of Art Sanctuary. We've been around for about 16 years now, which is a long time. So this is our building, standing outside here in Schnitzelberg, Germantown, uh, on this gorgeous day. Art Sanctuary is a 26,000 square foot space. We have a 10,000 square foot venue area where we hold weddings, fundraisers, we have bands play, do DJ dance nights, kind of a goth type feel um, monthly. We do um, a late for dinner that we've been working on the last few months because it's a live streaming situation. Um, the Vava Vixens do our shows here, um, which I'm also manager and producer of that. Very near and dear to my heart. We usually do about three of those a year, and that's a huge, if you haven't seen one yet, look us up, they're amazing. The community that exists within the building is very supportive of one another. Um, it gives a safe place for, for us weirdos to come. Using musical theater is always a challenge for a group that is constantly changing venues and moving around, putting shows up in different places around town. And when we did our first show here at Art Sanctuary, which was Carry the Musical, we found immediately a group of people who were very interested in allowing us to really um, realize the artistic vision we had for the show. So we were able to have um, really uh, respectful, positive, productive conversations with everyone here so that they felt like their venue was being respected and treated well, and we felt like we were able to really do all we could to bring the show to life. So that resulted in a show that we have, you know, never could have imagined doing because of how large it was and how everyone here at Art Sanctuary helped us make it the best it could be. Um, we came back for Pippin, which was a musical uh, that really basically turned this whole room into a circus, a literal circus. And anywhere else, I don't see how the show could have been as big as it was, but thanks to the team at Art Sanctuary that wanted us to be able to succeed in pulling off this circus, as well as our own internal uh, designers, choreographers, directors, actors, we were able to really do um, some incredible magic in here. And then for the last show we did in here, which was American Psycho, we built in the, in the theater event space room, we built a whole fashion runway that extended through the auditorium and it had immersive aspects for the audience. There was blood, there was lights on the ground. It was all over the place. And these three shows we've done in here just would not have worked anywhere else. We couldn't have brought them to life anywhere else because the, 
the flexibility and versatility of Art Sanctuary made them possible. We of course had the design minds behind it, but thanks to people who operate this venue, allowing us to really make some bold choices and also um, working with us to ensure we were meeting you know, every kind of safety standard we needed to, there was just unprecedented production value and I can't imagine having done them anywhere else. Hi, my name is Jerrica Jones. I'm the executive director of Girls Rock Louisville. Girls Rock Louisville is a nonprofit dedicated to empowering girls, gender nonconforming youth, and trans youth of all identities through music. So what we do is we provide music lessons, we form bands with the children, they get to collaborate and create original songs, then they get to perform them at a live showcase. So Art Sanctuary has been just the most incredible venue, um, not only just for Girls Rock Louisville's Sparkle Ball, but also for the kids to showcase. The kids always come in and they are enamored by the space, by the stage. It's been welcoming. We've been able to have like real shows here where like we get to celebrate what the kids have made and, and it's beautiful. The community comes, we pack the house. It's, it's just beautiful. So Art Sanctuary has provided Girls Rock Louisville, whether it be our showcases or some of our fundraising events, a place to call home that's welcoming, that's fun, that's edgy, that's us, um, it's local and it's beautiful. Late for Dinner was uh, conceived as a, as a way for uh, musicians to have an opportunity during this period of time to perform when they couldn't play out at, at clubs and uh, also an opportunity for people at home to be able to enjoy music without having to go to a club. Uh, Art Sanctuary has very graciously helped set that up and make it possible for their stage to be used and, uh, and so it's been a very interesting and exciting uh, couple of months here that we've, uh, that we've been doing this. Well, Late for Dinner has uh, allowed musicians to, uh, to have an opportunity to perform uh, and uh, it's, you know, this, this period of time here they, when people got started they knew how long it was going to take for them to be able to get out and play again. And this, uh, they've been very excited about being able to, to get out and, and uh, perform even, uh, even though there's not a live audience. And uh, it's, it's, it's helped them quite a bit. It's also helped people that are fans of theirs to be able to keep up with them. And it's been a good opportunity for them to show off what they've been doing since uh, they've been quarantined. I've uh, noticed a lot of musicians have, uh, have new material and actually been putting out new recordings uh, during this whole time, and this is an opportunity to showcase those. Um, Radio Arcane has grown. Oh, we've existed only since 2017, so about three years. Um, we started off just doing uh, kind of DJ nights but we have grown to where we are booking touring acts from around the country. Um, we interview them on our podcast. I don't know, there's just a lot of angles to having a community of creative people around you that is highly beneficial to artists that sometimes you just don't have at home on your own. There are about 14 of us. We have a very diverse group of people, other creative people that uh, make music. A lot of us are in bands. Um, some of us are visual artists, a lot of us are sound production. It's hard to stay in the groove of being creative. You have jobs, you have distractions, you know, some people have children or whatever, and having a space that you can go to that's a quiet space for you where you're open to create, but you also have a community of people. But being able to stream music at Art Sanctuary, they're still able to be on stage with professional lighting and professional sound. And uh, it just gives a little bit more of that live experience <laughs> that people miss. Okay. Uh, Vava Vixens is a program of Art Sanctuary. Um, we have been around for a little over 10 years now. And we have been performing uh, variety shows and many themed shows about three to four a year. 
um, for that whole time. And we have a very diverse group, probably of about 30 different performers, um, all different kinds like singing, dancing, and uh, big choreographed dance numbers, um, aerials, um, all kinds of really fun strip tease, of course, since it is a burlesque uh, troupe. Um, but it's become really a, a, a source of joy for me. Uh, I'm the manager and producer of that group, and we've, we've become a tight, tight knit, close family. And it just it's it's a it's a place where people can feel a, feel safe to explore themselves as an artist. One of the really cool things about Baba Vixens and Art Sanctuary is that it brings a multitude of it brings everybody together. So our audiences tend to be anywhere from 18 to 80. Um, it's all different, uh, all different kinds of people. So um, you never know what you're going to see in here, which is amazing. And it's really brought a, a community together that um, really, it's, it's a place where you can feel comfortable and safe. This is a sanctuary after all. Uh, when I first joined, we were the only burlesque troupe in the city. Uh, now there are plenty more, but we are probably one of the largest ones now. Uh, we do burlesque, we do variety shows, we have singers, aerialists, circus performers, just everything you can think of, uh, all pushed into one big, uh, raunchy is the wrong word, tastefully raunchy show. <laughs> I think it's so important to Louisville. Um, People are born and raised to think that your sexuality isn't necessarily an okay thing. And especially myself starting in it at such a young age, like it has completely shaped the way that I feel about my body. I know now that I'm beautiful and that that's a good thing to be able to flaunt yourself and be like, this is okay and this is worth it. Um, it's made a huge difference in my life. Um, and I have talked to plenty of audience members that say, um, as myself, as a curvy lady, that uh, it's very empowering to see so many people of so many different shapes and sizes and genders and sexualities and everything just coming together to be worth it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd say uh, I didn't realize how many of my friends were DJs and in bands and dancers until I started coming to shows at Art Sanctuary. And it's really just a place where we can be creative. And I had no idea how many of my friends were visual artists either until I saw their art at Art Sanctuary. So for me, I mean, the place is just more than a venue, more than a bar, more than a theater. You know, it's, it's a lot. It's amazing. For me, the Vixens is an opportunity to actually do a little bit more creative things that I couldn't do with a regular theater show. I mean, so many musicals and uh, regular plays that you do, you have your very strict script and you have the songs that you have to learn, but with the Vixens, you actually get to create it yourself. Because at the rehearsals, you really get to know each other, especially when you're, you know, let's say you're doing a group dance and you may not have danced with some of the people in the troupe yet, then you get to know how everybody moves and it's a lot more fun to perform. So I really just miss the camaraderie and the creativity and just being on stage with the Baba family. Uh, Art Sanctuary and the Vixens especially have given us an excellent space in order to really be able to experiment with our uh, with our circus art that we would in a way that probably most other places wouldn't allow us to, especially seeing as uh, the Vixens tend to be a little bit more uh, avant-garde and a little bit more uh, openly sexual. We've been able to uh, play with those types of performances as well as being able to just like that avant-garde aspect of it, being able to really be as creative mm -hmm. as we want to be with our art. Whereas in uh, more commercial settings or more, uh, uh, more, uh, traditional settings would probably not be able to explore the space, so to speak. Drawing together, uh, I would say on the communal aspect, what it does for, for Louisville, um, really reveals a side of uh, just artistic expression all under one roof that I don't know that anywhere else in the city no. that I've ever experienced, uh, especially the just the genuine level of passion that every artist in not just the vixens um, 
and the ability for music. collaboration too. Yeah, like there's there's so much collaboration that happens here that would not happen anywhere else. Yeah, this is my first time ever seeing it in here. Um, having never seen a show, I was just blown away by the the possibilities of what it can do and what it since then has done. Um, the bands that it's brought in, the mm -hmm. like I said, the uh, the fundraising events, um, theater events, uh, practice space for the troupe, and um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But having not been a part of this, what, five years ago, and now just I'm jumping right in to the Vava -Va Vixens, I don't know what what we would have done <laughs> without this facility. I've been with Baba for a good six, seven years now. Uh, I was actually with them before the before I started performing, but uh, it's actually one of the best things that's ever happened to me, to be honest. Never thought I'd ever be on a stage, but this is, uh, this is where I spend most of my time now, and I miss it, and I love it. I wasn't even in Vixens when I started coming here, and to watch it grow in to what it has been growing into is just fantastic. I mean, the add-ons, the people, the place, just the customers, the people that come here to watch us, everything is just top-notch, man. I miss so it there's all. a lot of different communities that share this place, and a lot of times they all come to create the same community. And I've been able to join all of them and they're all fantastic. I miss them. And we're performers with the Vava -Va Vixens and longtime lovers of Art Sanctuary. Yes, this is definitely a second home to us. We dance, we choreograph, we do aerial acrobatics. Rachel sings. Sometimes um, I do the talky things, but they're not my favorite. <laughs> Uh, we make costumes, we uh, make props. Yeah, we yeah. wear a lot of hats. We wear a lot of hats. Being um, on stage and being able to perform with my wife, you know, we even perform under the name Gay Lady Duo. Um, we perform all over, not just with Vava, but when we're here and we get to perform as, you know, as us, you know, gay lady duo with our love and our queerness and on stage and people see that and they see our chemistry and they see our love, it just feels really good and people celebrate that. And that is a really cool thing to offer to the queer community and people that aren't queer. They need to see stuff like this and you know, that's, it needs to be more mainstream and you know, we're here for that. We are here for that for sure. Our troop in general, we're just a big family, um, and we all support each other in our craft. We lift each other up. We encourage each other and inspire each other. Um, it's a really unique way to, you know, see other parts of ourselves and express them in different ways, and just have the freedom and the safety to do those things. My name is Keith Waits. I'm the gallery and facility manager at Louisville Visual Art and have been for 14 years. I'm also the managing editor of arts.louisville.com and I have the good fortune to have a three-way relationship with Art Sanctuary and the people here. Uh, as uh, in my role at LVA, we conduct uh, adult figure drawing classes here with Claudia Hammer uh, and have been doing that for a couple of years now very successfully. It's turned out to be a wonderful location with it for us, and uh, as the Managing Editor of Arts Louisville, we have uh, begun to have our annual theater awards in February here at Art Sanctuary. This year there will probably be an online-only presence, and Art Sanctuary's ability to provide that opportunity is essential uh, in that relationship. And then also, uh, as Managing Editor for Arts Louisville, I review a lot of things, including a lot of live performances, so I have been here to review Baba Vixens, and uh, other companies that have used the Art Sanctuary stage for their productions. And uh, it's been a, a wonderful relationship. Art Sanctuary is run by artists, and uh, that I think is maybe the secret to its, uh, to its success and its ability to have these kinds of partnerships. So we have studios here for uh, uh, around 30 artists. And we have them 
designed specifically to keep the cost down. So an individual artist may have a 50 square foot studio for $50 a month, but they have access to a whole lot more than that. There's, um, there's access to tools for framing and large light tables and big workspaces and uh, wall space to really back up from your work and uh, not to mention the human beings that are around that are that care about the same things that you can engage with. Um, kind of a studio situation like one might have in college. It has exponentially improved my practice having a studio space because I'm a professional artist. I need a space that's purely designated for my art and art making. And um, it's also really helpful because when um, I was first starting, uh, it's a very kind of solitary practice. And um, having this group and this community is very helpful. The affordability of the studio spaces, I think, is really helpful and important um, because as an artist, it's really hard to uh, afford um, a studio space. Uh, artists need space outside of their homes that are that's designated specifically for uh, exploring whatever's happening in their in their artistic practice. Oh, it's given me that space to just like lay it all out and if I need to just close up and go home I can just leave my mess there. Um, you know there's the conversation is waiting for me right when I get back. Um, and it's provided a um, network of other people around me. At one point we were doing critiques um, and I feel like there's always someone around that I can be like, hey, what do you think about this? Or do you have any glue I can borrow? Or, hey, I don't need these supplies anymore and you put them in a space where other people can have them. So there's um, all that sharing of supplies and ideas. It's pretty awesome. One of the benefits I've been finding, especially in the last couple of years, I've been um, getting more of the business end of my studio practice together. Um, and I've been inviting curators to come in and do studio tours. And it's just really nice to have that um, space where I can, you know, put everything out and show them everything I've been working on. And, you know, it's, it's like inviting somebody to your office. Um, it, it provides another level of um, authenticity and business appeal, you know, just like, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm renting a studio and I'm, I'm doing my work. Um, I'm not screwing around. So if you're watching this, I'm sure you're aware of how vital the arts are to the city, to any community. Um, it's even more vital to the artists themselves. And part of how art gets made is having a place to make it. And that's what we do. We provide artists a place to really explore their art. And, uh, and we can't do it without you. That's, uh, well, that's, that's why we need your help. Um, there, are, there are 30 visual artists here. There are probably as many performing artists here. And then all of the outside uh, performing acts, musical groups, um, dance groups, theater groups, uh, traveling artists, people who um, exhibit in the gallery that wouldn't necessarily have access. And with donations, we're able to provide a, an affordable space for them to do it. There we go. And we need your help.
All right, thank you very much once again for that inspirational video about Art Sanctuary. We, of course, uh, appreciate any and all donations here to Art Sanctuary to keep, uh, keep the, uh, 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 all the different programs running here. And of course, uh, we want to be able to hit the ground running just as soon as uh, the current pandemic is over. And hopefully, we don't have any other pandemics afterwards. So, um, there is, of course, you know, the opportunity to, uh, to donate. Uh, every occasionally, you'll see a little bug down in the corner there, and, uh, and you can take a little picture of it, and, uh, and then you can give, uh, give things like here. Like, like this picture of Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton here, uh, which uh, was, is going to be it, him and another one. You can make bookends out of them. Uh, we will have uh, two... Mr. Milton's going out to the person who can answer the proper question here, which will be announced next week. The question is, we had, we had Cooter Brown here talking about Baba -ba Vixens. Um, now, I don't want to don't, don't fixate on shirts, but uh, I, this is another shirt question. Um, when we saw Cooter uh, talking, he had a cartoon representation of a present company is not allowed to answer. <laughs> anyway, there is a cartoon representation of a comedy duo which was not Skillet and Leroy. And uh, they were on his shirt. If you can answer that correctly, uh, we'll have a, a bookend set of Mr. Mil Mr. H. A. Milton's to you. Uh, winging its way next week. Uh, right now, we have another fine group to, uh, to entertain you this evening, and uh, one that I have missed for quite some time. They are uh, they're wonderful, they've been around for a while, and uh, they're fantastic. What else can I say? But here they are, Bon Air. <laughs>
Thank you very much for Bon Air. Thank you so much to Sir Creighton Barrel and Art Sanctuary for having us. I um, want to wish a happy birthday to Henry Ignacio from El Bisonte. Raise, raise one to you, dude. Um, this next one is an instrumental, but it's short. It's called Riding with the Side.
Thank you very much. We're Bon Air. Let's welcome John Klemeyer to the band on drums, everybody. Also want to give a shout out to our homies in Wax Eater. They're playing here on the, uh, February 26th with Bad Wires. That's going to be a stack, Bill. That's going to be awesome. Also got a shout out to our PRF folks and uh, Rudy Panucci in Charleston and... Uh, My mom! <laughs> that's right, John's mom. This next one is called Bizarre Love Gun.
<laughs> you get one more. Uh, this next one is called Cloaking Device.
So it's like all the all the good souls we've lost. Um, this one's called the Blue Line.
Sanctuary. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Here comes me. Oh my gosh. Well, that was, I was, I was enjoying myself so much that uh, I, I, uh, I, I didn't want it to stop. What could I say? That was that was fantastic, Bon Air. The, uh, again, wonderful to see you again, and we hope, we certainly hope, that things will return to normal soon enough, so that we will see all these fine performers in uh, in other venues, and also this one. We want to try and keep this going as long as we possibly can, and. Um, when things open up, we can have people in here, so you can watch it, not only here, but also at home at the same time. Meantime, we will be bringing them, these folks and other folks, to your household, and uh, you can enjoy them um, in your pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, yes, please, please, consider us, Art Sanctuary, uh, for your... Uh, for your ill-gotten gains from GameStop and uh, other things like that, uh, we will we'll take them. We'll, but uh, in the meantime, uh, do uh, take it safe this week, and we will be back next Friday with Work Shirt and Flamingo. Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for dinner. Yeah. Good night. <laughs>